know, and as I say, five months on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Oh, the temperature. I didn't bring my mat either, so I've got to try and fit on that. It's going to be fun. <laughs> you know, I don't like getting wet feet or anything. <laughs> I'll stand at the front. Okay, so. Oh, that's looking really right on me. I don't know. Oh. Okay, stand nice and tall. Relax your shoulders. Take your feet about a hip distance apart. Lift your toes up. Wiggle your toes around and relax your feet down. Bend your knees a little bit. Relax your bum and thighs. Go straight into think about your core contraction. So, imagine we're standing out in the park in our bikinis. It's a bit chilly. We would brace, wouldn't we? Are you all bracing? So it's quite an easy way of getting those core muscles out. I look at me in my full coat and everything. I always say this one in a minute. <laughs> Brace your core muscles. Let your corset feel like it's tightening around your middle. Oh, I saw someone else has come to join. She's just walked in her dog very close. And roll our shoulders back and down and again. Roll the shoulders back and down. And again, roll the shoulders back and down. Can you do that again? Look, can you keep your rib cage in? And can you keep your core muscles contracted? Yeah, can you feel it? start moving you about quite rapidly. Just gently rock forward and rock back, rock forward and rock back. The core muscles are contracted, the hands can feel the muscles underneath and not allowing our tummies to pop out into our hands, okay? Yeah, good. Keep it nice and smooth, keep the ribs drawn in, keep the shoulders relaxed and keep breathing. Come somewhere in the middle where you feel like your hands are level and that should be neutral spine. So you've got your core contraction, You've got neutral spine and you've got relaxed down. So I'm going to actually start moving you, all right? So we're going to start with the arms. This is a little bit different to what you're used to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach your arms up and I just want to try and reach back slightly and then I just want to lean to the side slightly. Then I want to lean back slightly, feel that stretch. And I want to lean over. Can you feel that? So what's happening is, keep going. You know you two at the beginning of PT, I've got to put your hands there and move, feel all those muscles around your core. Feel that. So don't. This makes me feel like an old lady. Right, so look. So now, now take the arms down, take a big breath in, exhale and reach. Big breath in, exhale and reach. Come down to the middle, not side to side. Exhale, come down and then exhale over. Can you feel the difference now? Don't go side to side. So back, exhale, breathe in, one side. Exhale, come back to the middle. Back, exhale, back. Come down and then over. Can you feel that all around your core? Yeah. It should actually feel quite nice. I want you to keep going. I want to watch you. Breathe. So breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. You keep your hips still. But all, can you? I can really feel that stretching my body. It should feel quite nice. It's just weird because you're not used to it. That's all. Okay. And then stop. Roll your shoulders forward. Roll your shoulders back. Shrug them up and down to your ears. Gentle shoulder roll forward and back. Gentle bra strap forward and back. Gentle waistband forward and back. Yeah? Gentle shoulders forward and back. Gentle bra strap forward and back. Can you feel that? And waistband. And up. Again, forward. Bra strap waistband from the top big breath in exhale reach come down over the side reach come down straight back reach come down side reach come down set now I'm going to make some lunging moves and this is all about balance and using your core so what you're going to do with the right leg you're going to go forward side there's no one standing this is there and back, but the back one, watch. So forward will be down, side will be there, but back, watch. Did you see that? Do you want to have a little practice with me? So right leg, let's go forward, so forward and lunge. Side and down. Back and turn and look at the foot. Do it again on the right leg, show me. So forward, side, and then back, turn to look at your toe. Nearly. So actually step out onto that leg. Forward again. Side. 
And when you step back, look behind you and step onto that leg more. Yeah, that's it. Right, now let's try the left because you've got it. Ready? So forward. Side. Yeah? And then back. And look at your top. That's it. Right, and again, step a little bit more of a bigger step so your uh, knee is over your heel. And step. That's it. Are you okay? Got it? Right. Do it once more. Do you feel okay? It's different, isn't it? You're not sure. Are you okay? Yeah, it's good for getting wet feet, all right? Yeah. All right, and Linda, now stop. Now, this is going to be easier. Well, it's not easier, but we're going to do the right leg three times and then the left leg three times. Yeah, I know, socks, it's a bit. That's why I was going to leave our shoes on, but you all took them off the floor. All right, I'll go with it. Right, watch. All right. Big breath in. That's it. So what we but what we're doing is there's a lot of flexion. So you're going forward, side, back. All you've got to remember is up, over, up. That's it. <laughs> yeah, please don't do that because that'll put me right on. Alright, so you ready? So forward, add a little reach back. Side, go over. Oh, sorry. Turn and reach back. And then the other leg. Mm -hmm. So forward, just think all you're doing is you're extending so that your spine is flexing. And then back. That's it. Then try I right again. The leg, <laughs> right leg? Yeah, I started with the wrong leg. Don't worry. Oh. Don't stress it. And then over. <laughs> and then back. Is it me or you? Look back. <laughs> and then left. It's going to take a bit of getting used to because you're not used to this. So it's going to feel well weird. But if you actually start listening to what's happening in your body it's actually quite nice okay and then stop sorry i'm struggling a little bit right shoulders bra waistband shoulders nice bra waistband flex Side, flex, side. There you go. All right, you feel okay. So I'm only going to feel in little bits. Are you warm enough? You're not freezing. Okay. You're okay. Right. So all I want to do is going to roll down. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Slowly. Bend your knees if you need to. Walk your hands out. Yeah, I'm so not staying on this towel. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not happy. I am not happy at all. Why did I do this to myself? Alright, all I want you to do is gently, don't hate me, very slow, one tricep press up into sit back into child pose. One chart, there you go, and down. Look, do that ten times a time. Keep going. Now I did keep my toes tucked under. down but it's really slow yeah you're really using your core strength you're making sure your boobs lead towards the mat first not your stomachs or your hips or your thighs so you take your time i really struggle with that my press up technique is not very good so look if i show you from this side yeah if i keep my toes tucked under i can leave my bum in yeah so some of you are trying to do it like this look you're coming down like this if you look i bring my chest down but leave my bum there and then sit back. So just take your time, think about what I'm trying to achieve. So you've got strength into a stretch, which is mainly all about your core. You all right? When you've done your 10, and hopefully you might know when that 10 is, relax your feet, sit back into child's pose, and sink as low as you can with your chest down between your knees, relax. I want you to roll your shoulders forward. I want you to roll your shoulders back. I want you to shrug them up down to your ears. From this position, I want you to come up onto the fours. I want your knees directly underneath your hips and I want your knees about a fist distance apart. Okay, your hands are underneath the shoulders. Your nose is in front. I'm pulling in my core muscles. Remember, we're in our bikinis. I don't know why we've been in our bikinis today, but let's just assume we are. 
If this gets too tight on your wrist is at any point, I'm going to sit back. All I'm going to ask you to do is take your right hand here. I'm going to ask you to carefully twist. Don't twist too far on the first one. And then slowly come through and exhale and look how low. I come down so I've almost got my shoulder and my cheek on the floor. Then I come back up. I'm going to do two on each side. I'm going to take this. I'm going to twist my elbow as high as I can to the sky. I'm going to exhale. Actually, let's do five on one side. I think that's four. That's about right. Do you feel okay with that? Ideally, the more you do it, you should be able to rotate that elbow higher up to look at the sky. Yeah? So it's through your thoracic area of your vertebrae, you're getting a bit more rotation and then come right down low. That's lovely. Keep your core contracted, try not to move the hips. Are you all all right? Talk to me. Yeah. Yeah, and then we're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side, all right? So then the five will be the other side. I will take the other elbow out, okay? I will rotate. Try and keep my hips still, look. Don't do this. Keep your knees down, keep your hips still, rotate, and then slowly exhale and come through. The idea is, as we do a little bit more, we should be able to rotate a little bit more so we're getting more mobility on that rotation, okay? Now, you're getting a little byproduct while you're doing these five. You're getting a bit of a tricep workout on the arm that's holding you. But obviously, don't make that too stressful. Get lower, carry on web. See if you can get your shoulder right, come bring down to the floor. Worst case scenario, you'll end up just leaning your shoulder on the floor and that's fine. Are you all okay with this? When you've done your five on each side, sit back into your child's pose. Ladies, are we okay? Yeah? Yeah. So you've got lots, you're going to feel a bit different after this. Have a look at me. All this will have really worked. All right? So it's really, really working you through. When you're ready, we're going to come onto all fours. Come onto all fours with me. All I'm going to hope to do is, you know when we do swimming on all fours? So we're going to do that, but we are going, boom, straight into hand and leg. We're going to make sure we keep our toe in contact with the floor. So the arm will be open chain, but the toe will be closed chain. All right? In three, two, one. So I'm going to slide it out and I'm going to bring it back in. But look, it's slow and controlled. If you don't do it slow and controlled, you're just waving your arms and legs around. But if you are with me, your core doesn't move. Yeah, you're pulling in. You're getting a lovely extension. You're extending that leg out. Your core muscles should be getting quite challenged. We're going to do 10 in total. Some of you will be counting, some of you won't. So if you, oh, hello, hello. <laughs> Keep going. Are you, what, can you feel it? Can you feel that connection on your core? Yeah. Yeah, we're doing all right. Obviously, if your wrists get tight at any point, what do you do? You sit back, don't you, into um, <coughs> child's pose and you release. So remember, keep your toe in contact with the floor, but extend the arm out. We're good? When you've re reached your 10, you'll just sit back and have a nice stretch. And then, so I really hope Bella doesn't decide to poo there as she's on video. <laughs> That's what we are waiting though. When we've done our 10, sit back, relax. Are you all all right? Have I stressed you out by doing new stuff at the beginning? <laughs> Are oh, your wrist is all right? Yeah. Shoulder wrist is all right? Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna come up, we're gonna try the same move again, but we're now we're gonna do a lateral movement. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna come up, right, watch me. So I'm gonna go exhale up, take it out, come in, bring it down. But if you look, if I did have that tray on my back, I don't think it would have fallen off. I'm not doing this, am I? You know, yeah? So it's open chain. Lift off the floor, then take both diagonally away, back in and back down. Do you feel alright with that? I'll do a few with you to warm you into it. If you, any point gets too much, sit back, it should be on your wrist, it should be your core. In three, two and one. Here we go. So, I exhale away, I lift. I take it out, I come in and I bring it down. It's really smooth. Then the other side, up. Out, in and back down. I want you to do that as smoothly as you can keeping your core muscles contracted. Keep going, make sure you exhale away and breathing back in. Can you feel the challenge here? Have a peep at me, is it all in here? Can you feel it? Yeah. Especially when you take it out. Very, very controlled. Don't try and get your arm and leg like, you know, a foot away from you, because if you do, I know you're not gonna be using your core. Steph, do your hips feel okay on this? Well, that, that's a cramp. So don't go so far. Yeah. 
because you're taking yours out quite a long way. And worst case scenario, if any of you are really struggling with this, don't do the movement away from the body laterally. Just push your way straight. That's really good, by the way. It looks fabulous. You've got to concentrate quite a bit, otherwise you will be wobbling all over the place. As soon as you've done 10, you're just going to sit back, you're going to release any pressure through your body, and then you're going to start thinking about where we're going to come next. Now you guys on your sensible mats, don't worry if you're still going, are going to be fabulous. I am not, because I'm going to be facing the dirt. We're about to do VW or swan dance. I love girls, this is so not funny. Emma did not think this through at all. Right, so we're going <laughs> to... Hell. We're gonna come and lay down with nature. <laughs> do you know what's quite funny? Um, where, on my women's wellness thing, there's a bit where I do encourage you to get out and earth, get yeah, with nature and earthing. Great. Yeah, I'm bloody earthing now, aren't I? I'm, I'm a one with the grass. Can you see? Like, I've even got my legs dangling off. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, considering I spend how much time working outside, I'm like, <laughs> okay. Um, as you can see from my feet, I am not relaxed at all but I'm gonna try and relax my feet down turn my toes in and drop my heels out all joking so when we do this next move if you find it incredibly difficult on your lower back you can actually flex your feet and tuck your toes under so your glutes engage a little bit as well but I'm gonna to attempt to get you to do it relaxed so I'm gonna show you first <laughs> right. oh. I'm not actually right on it it actually smells quite nice actually but you know right Hands in front, but shoulders not too much higher than where they should be. Core muscles contracted. All I'm going to do is hover and pull out, come back in. Pull out, come back in. Pull out, come back in. Off you go. So this is absolutely amazing. It's, it is swan dive, but made into an easier and more achievable way for you to do it. Slow down. I want you to really pull those shoulder blades down your spine, but be honest, how many of you pushing your tummy into the floor? Yeah, you've got to draw your tummy away from the floor. So we're always core strengthening while we do that back extension, yeah? And when you lift off the floor, you don't lift too high and just look sort of at the floor very slightly in front of you. Don't try and snap back and not have a good look at me. Are we okay? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you? Can you? You're doing 10 in total. I'm not sure if you know how many you've done. But it looks good. Still with me, ladies? Yeah? So remember, really pull back. You'll know if you're doing it. This is probably anyone who gets a bit stressed around the neck, the shoulders, a bit tense, headaches. This is like, oh, yeah, it's great. And then just relax when you've done your 10. And if you have uh, got no idea how many you've done, about now. You alright? Okay, put your hands underneath your shoulders, push yourself up into a push up position. Right, here we go, from the top. Are you ready? You never knew this was going to happen, did you? Tuck your toes under, sit back, and off we go, down. So we're going to do 10 of these. One, not too fast, just because I said 10, it doesn't mean race through it, it's more control. Two, and then sitting right back. Elbows close to the body, so it's a tricep press up as well. We're challenging our core and then we're really reiterating that lovely length through the spine. So really think about it. Don't worry if you can't go low to the floor. Obviously when I'm teaching, I have to exaggerate that to try and get a bit more out of you. But as long as you're leading with your chest and your elbows are tight, I'm happy with that. You all good? Keep it going, my little abs. Looking fabulous. When you've done your 10, you will sit back on your heels and relax, or you'll relax your feet actually. You'll sit back on your heels and you'll relax for just about a count of five. Now I'm going to keep talking to you so you know what you're doing, but don't start panicking. Oh my god, oh my god, I've got to hurry up. When you've done it, you'll sit back, you'll come gently down. One, two, three, four, and five. Once you've done that, you'll bring yourself back up into your tabletop. You'll make sure your knees are only a fist distance apart. You'll make sure your knees are direct under your hips. you make sure your hands are a little bit wider than that and bent slightly. So if I was a tabletop, I would be a straight table. You'd be dead to put a tray on me. 
first five will just be extending out and you can lift your foot off the floor this time if you want. Right? So first five, that's not going to work, is it? Good. First six. Three each side. Three, two, one. And slowly exhale out and control it down. Control. Now, if you've slowed this down enough and just using your core, you should really, really feel this working all around your center. There's a massive challenge going on here and you really do want to just wibble wobble, but we're not going to. Now, I don't know if you're managing to count or not, but on the next set, we'll do another six, but we'll go up, we'll take it out, we'll come in and we'll relax down. Really slowly, we'll exhale out, breathe in and we'll come back down and you're just going to carry on my mother's going to watch you you don't have to do a massively wide range of movement okay it's very small it's very controlled but all of this section have a peek at me here it's really working you should be very very aware of that working if you do get a bit wobbly just make your move a wee bit smaller when you've done that last block of six you're going to sit back down you're going to come back down for that little count of five, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the feet, and then you will come and lay flat down again, and you will get ready for doing the BW, yeah, or the modified swan dive. We'll relax our feet, unless you found that there's any discomfort, then you would have flexed your feet and squeezed your bum. Three, two, and one. So I pull back in, and I breathe in here, and exhale there. I breathe in here, and exhale, but if you had to do the breathing the opposite way, it wouldn't be the end of the world, as long as you're actually breathing. Remember, the main focus here is, yes, it's an extension for your spine, a retraction of the shoulder blade, you feel like they're sliding down your back, but the most important thing is core muscles, not pushing our tummy into the mat at any point. Are we doing all right? Yeah, are we fabulous? Keep it nice and smooth. So we were doing 10 of those in total. If you've completely lost it, you have absolutely no idea what number you're on, do one more and then just relax down. Turn your head to one side so you are relaxed. How are you feeling? Are you okay? So it should be nice and flowing so far. Yeah? We're good? Okay. All I want you to do is put your hands back under your shoulders and want you to push yourself back up into a press up. Now, I don't know if you can remember when we did that mobility move, but this time you're going to start off with five on the left and then five on the right. So you're going to come to here. Yeah, you ready? So you're going to take that left hand, nice and soft here. You ready? And go. So you're going to rotate as far back as you can and then thread through and come as low as you can. Take your time. Try and twist back behind you to look up at the sky or try and get the elbow there. Try and keep your hips steady. If you find you're really compensating pushing the hips the other way, no. Okay, keep it nice and smooth. And then when you've done them on that side, you'll repeat and do five on the other side for me. Take your time. Girls, are you all right? Do you feel a bit more mobile? No comment. Okay, is that a no? Is that a I don't know? I feel a bit less fit than I was. That's what I was hoping. When you've done your five on each side, you'll sit back into what is our sort of like default move for loads again today, which is um, child's pose. And you'll just sit back and get a little breath count, five, and then I will ask you to come and lay flat down on your tummies. Okay, so you're going to complete those moves, you're going to sit back. When you've done your little breath cycle, you can come and lay flat down on your tummies. Okay, so where are we going with this? Now, there's a nice pile of mud there, so I might have to move a little bit. <laughs> Do you know what? I've actually got a towel in here, which I could spread out longer, so I don't know why I haven't done it. I'm still on that bit of mud. Okay, so... I want you to extend your arms above your head, but not like this. Not so your shoulders are too far. Now right, retract your shoulders down. Extend your legs off the floor. You can use your bum. Now, can you pull your tummy in? Hover your head. Can you feel that? Talk to me. 
We're on knees, so I'd be off the floor as well. If you can. Yeah? But don't push your pubic bone into the floor. Relax your feet, pull your tummy in. So if you have to have your feet a bit lower, and worst case, look, rest your toes on the floor if you have to. If you've got really bony bits and you know you're shoving your bits into the floor, obviously put your feet down. All right, all I want you to do now is slowly there. Keep going, opposite arm and leg. Pull the tummy in, look at the floor. 10, keep going. Nine, keep going. Eight, keep going. Seven, keep going. Oh, six, keep going. Five, keep going. Four, keep going. Three, keep going. Two, keep going. One, relax. Woo! Did you feel that? Yeah. Where? Where did you feel it? Was it all in your core? So the, at the front side and back? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Right, from here. Don't hate me. Take a big breath in. Exhale, and if you can, we're gonna roll. And we're gonna hold for four, three, stretch your legs out, two, and one. Now take the arm above your head, don't face plant. Use your core, roll. And then can you roll over? Can you hold it? No. <laughs> You're just rolling from one side to the other, basically. Over, tummy, 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 tummy. Now gently roll onto your tummy again. Right, now hold it and hover for one, two, three, four, five. Can you roll onto your side? Oh, can you hold it for one, two, three, put your ribs in, four. Can you roll onto your tummy but don't face plant? It's hard. And can you wiggle? One, two, three, four, five. Can you roll onto the other side? I'm cheating a bit today. I'm using my arm a little bit. Hold it. Right, now listen. Hold it for five and I'm going to roll you onto your back. As soon as you've done your five, roll onto your back. Bend your legs up into tabletop. Tabletop, bend them up, 90 degree angle. Yep, you got it, you got it, you got it. Good girls. Hold that there. Pull your ribs in. Keep your core muscles contracted. Are you okay? Talk to me. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Right, now, if you can, can you raise your head and peek through your knees? Can you extend your arms so they're past your knees? If your neck aches, what do you think you should do? Put it down. Put your head down, yeah. Now, girls, I want you to hold it there. I'm gonna do a move. I'm gonna take you into a hollow ab move for a count of five. If you don't know what that is, unfortunately, you will have to turn your head and peek at me. All right, if not, stay where you are. So I'm gonna hold it here, then I'm gonna go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Then I'm gonna come back into my tabletop and hold. For five, four, three, two, and one. Then I'm gonna hollow ab. Pull my ribs in. Three, two, and one. Then pull it in. Hold five, four, three, two, Extend, five, four, three, two, and hug your legs in and hug them. How do you feel? Did you feel it? Yeah. Did you feel it? Yeah? Are we good? Yeah. All right, now, <laughs> Judy's like, no. <laughs> From the position you're in, I'm gonna do something really, really simple. I'm gonna roll you onto your side and do your side bend into side Thread the needle. So watch me if you're not sure for a sec. Right, what I'm gonna do is go to tabletop, roll, lift, thread, come down, roll, tabletop, 54321, 54321, back in, roll, lift, thread. Obviously not at that speed. <laughs> Alright? So we're gonna stay up now. In fact, we'll tabletop now, we'll hollow ab now, I bend the legs in, we roll over and we thread the needle once. Right, I'll count you down, are you ready? Head up if you're able, head down if your neck aches. Hold, pull your ribs in, five, four, Caroline, feet higher, three, two, one, hollow abs if you can, five, four, three, two, one, bend the legs in, roll over onto whichever side you want, lift the hips up, hold, hold it up, look, hold, get the hips up if you can, Feel your waist, hips down if you have to. Caroline Webb, you can keep your hips down. And then thread the needle. 
thread underneath your rib cage. Whoa. Open up. Hips down. Roll onto your back. Bend hold. Five. Four. You've got it. Three. Two. Hollow add. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bend. Roll. Keep at me. You can see me are easier. Hips up if you can. Hips down if you can. Hold it. Thread the needle. Three. Three. Open. Lay down. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hollow abs if you can. Straighten those legs. Straighten them. Five. Four. Good. Three. Two. One. Bend the legs. Roll. Hips up. Right. Stay here. Thread the needle. Five threads. To five. And come up. Exhale through, breathe in, come up, beautifully done again. Exhale through, breathe in, come up. Exhale through, breathe in to come up. Should have one more? Exhale through, breathe in to come up. Bring your arm down, hips down, roll over onto your back. Hold it. Oh my gosh, my abs are screaming for five, four, three, two, Follow over if you can, extend the legs. Look, my feet are quite high. Five, that's it. Four, three, two, bend the legs. Roll over. Hips down or hopefully hips up, hold it. So we go through. Exhale through, breathing up. Exhale through, breathing up. Exhale through, make sure the elbow's right under the shoulder. Again. Come on, where do you work, darling? Up. I think that was the last one. And up. Lay down. Hug your legs into your body. Oh. And relax. How are you feeling? Yeah, all those abs things are awful. They are, aren't they? Do you feel alright, though? Yeah. Right, and we're going to finish off with one last move, which is going to be a traditional move, and we're going to do shoulder bridge. Alright, which should feel absolutely fabulous. Are you okay having that way, or would you like to turn back round to me? Yeah, turn back round. I was just trying to make it as flowing as I could for you guys. We all right? Are you all okay? You all in shock? You all look a bit like, oh God. Do you feel traumatized? Was it like hardcore Pilates? Yes. But you still, did you see where I was going with that? So even that, that stuff at the beginning, you all look at me like I was mental. It set you up so that when we actually came down to do, I don't know about you, I, this is so tight. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like, like that. But that's kind of good because I've given you rotation, I've given you flexion, we've gone side, we've gone forward, we've gone back. So then when we came onto the floor, it meant that I kind of tweaked traditional moves as well as gave you a more flowy move and I just made it more challenging. But I hopefully I kept it on a level that you could all achieve, but you actually did a hell of a lot more and it was a lot harder today. But I hope you liked it. Now, obviously we've all set up, we were meant to be laying down. However, don't lay down, now you're up means I can challenge you to get back down. So you know the move rolling up, we're gonna do that down, but listen, when you get to that bit and you think, oh God, put your elbows down, it's fine. If, you, if you've got the strength, we'll do it though. So sit tall, tuck the pubic bone under, take a big breath in and dip. And then full body stretch for me, because you might as well, because you're down here anyway. And then when you're ready, bend your legs, Look directly up at the sky, bring your feet as close to your butt as you can get it. Have your feet and knees about a fist distance apart. Arms down the side of your body with your palms up. Shoulders relaxed into the floor. Pelvic floor contraction, or your bath full of eels, or you're just trying not to have a wee wee, or you're just squeezing up through your lady muscle in between your legs. Relax the bum, thighs and feet. And when you're ready, let's just start rocking our pubic bone towards the back down. Do you remember at the beginning, we tucked forward and back, hands on the front and back of the body, yeah? We're now doing that laying down. We're just tucking the pubic bone in and we're coming back down. Pubic bone back in and coming back down. Very, very smooth. Relaxing the shoulders, keeping the core muscles contracted, breathing. If your bum, thighs and feet are relaxed and you've got a core contraction, 
you're ready to do a bridge. Let's go. Tuck the pubic bone back in. Push the lower back to the floor. Slowly exhale and lift one vertebra at a time to come up into a ski slope. On the top of the first one, look up your body. Make sure your ribs aren't sticking out. Tuck your pubic bone back in. And slowly exhale, come down to get one vertebra down to the floor at a time. Nice and controlled. If you're struggling to relax your bum, thighs or feet today, just stay tilting of the hips. Step big, don't come too high, yeah? If you come too high, girls, you'll know, because what will happen is you'll be arching your back and your ribs will flare out, okay? And that's what I don't want you to do. So I'm gonna ask you to keep going nice and smooth. So if anybody does watch this video later and I've disappeared, you are still meant to be doing shoulder bridge nice and smooth. Keep your ribs in nice and tight, gently lifting, thinking about your breathing. Remember, it's a big breath in from the top and the bottom. Now turn your palms up, remember to the sky. Turn your arms slightly further away from the body. Okay, make sure your head is in the jar at the up. Very, very, very smooth. How are we doing? Do you feel okay? Are you managing to pick one vertebra up at a time? I know you're managing to lower one vertebra at a time. Yeah? Girls, you can talk. It's like the silent brigade. Have you all got a pelvic floor contraction? Yeah. Are you all managing to get each vertebra down to the floor at a time? Is anyone like missing a few? Do you feel like you can't get your waistband down before your bum or are we good? Alright, I'm going to ask you to do two more. Nice and smooth. Now, I put my shoes back on for myself to come out of <laughs> When you've done your second one, when you've done your second one, I'm going to ask you to hug your legs into your body. I'm going to ask you to curl your head up. Look, peek through your knees. Now, stay curved. And I'm just going to gently rock. Oh. Don't stay up on the first one, I want about five. Don't worry if you're finishing your bridge, that's lovely. I want to literally, now listen, not only am I going to sit you up, I'm going to hopefully stand you up. So from here, I'm going to push my hands down and I'm going to stand up. Don't worry if you can't do it. Are we okay? How are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Are you feeling traumatised from that? <laughs> stand nice and tall, lengthen your spine, relax your shoulders. Do your shoulder roll forward, bring it round, take it back, then do from the bra strap, round. Keep your core tight, then do your waistband, and tall, then shoulders again, then bra strap, then waistband, then take a big breath in, join your hands together, exhale, take your hands over to one side and keep your hips still, take a big breath in, exhale, take your hands to the other side, keep your hips still. Bring your arms back down, relax the shoulders down, put the right hand up, put the left hand up, give me a wave, give us a clap. It's over, you did it. Are you alright? Let me turn that off and you might speak a bit more freely. 